right um good evening and welcome to another beautiful episode of your number one love show in nigeria intimate talk with dr tolu and thank you for joining me tonight how's your day been your monday your tuesday i mean this is weekend in the corner already how's it been have you been able to apply all the things we've talked about as they made you what i talked about on tuesday as they made you probably to have um, a kind of rethink about life have you been able to sit back and look at your life i mean to check if you're actually living or you are just existing that was what we've been talking about on tuesday and i will be concluding the topic tonight of course i want to say thank you to you guys for joining me tonight of course to those of you that have been sharing intimate talk with dr tolu you share it on instagram on facebook i mean i saw on facebook that a lot of people were trying to share the show telling people to listen telling people to watch like i usually say on this show if you have people that you care about the best you can do is to tell them to be a part of intimate talk with dr tolu because this show has a way of helping people to solve problems in their life, in their relationship, in their marriage. Problems that probably they might not be able to, you know, discuss with anybody. Dr. Tolu just help you to discuss it and you don't really need to worry your head about how to talk about it or what to do about it, all right? So thank you for joining me tonight. And if this is your first time of tuning in, I am live on 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one um news talk and sport session in nigeria and you know when it comes to issues that affect people's life when it comes to making sure that citizens are doing well nigeria info comes first the kind of information that you get on this station you will bet with me that you can hardly get it anywhere when it comes to lifestyle it comes to sport it comes to news uh, comes to relationship, comes to marriage, even to sex. At the end of the day, it's all about making sure that your life is doing well. And that is all what Nigeria Info is all about. Of course, so thank you for joining me tonight. 99.3, that's where we are live right here in Lagos. And of course, you could join me live on TV. You know, you could watch me live on Wazobia Max channel 259. So tune in right away. You have no excuse not to be a part of Intimate Talk with Dr. Tulu. And of course, you continue to Facebook. So you are telling me, oh, I'm not uh, with my radio. Or I'm not at home. I can't sit down to watch TV. You could just pick up your mobile and just log into 99.3 Nigeria Info on Facebook. Go to our page and follow me live tonight. All right. So tonight, I will be concluding to the topic, how to live your life to the fullest. And like I said, if this is your first time of tuning in, my name is Dr. Tolu. I am the number one sex therapist in Nigeria. Yeah, I can boldly say it. My life is all about sex. I live sex. I do sex. I think sex. I work sex. I... <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm a clinical relationship and marriage counselor. I am a sex therapist and I am a matchmaker. I am in the business of building homes, mending relationships, and fixing sexual issues. At the end of the day, it's all about making sure you live your life to the fullest. It's all about making sure you are happy in your relationship and in your marriage. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. And of course, like I said, I will be concluding this topic how to live your life to the fullest. I started on Tuesday and I just want to get your feedback by the time the phone line will be opened. I want to see if the topic I've been able to give you time to sit back and think about your life because I've been doing a lot of thinking, you know, actually for the past three weeks, most of the time when I pick topic and discuss it on this show, I've told you severally, I am not just doing ASA or just going online to Google and download it for you. It's beyond that. I'm talking out of experience. I'm talking about out of, you know, knowledge. I'm talking out about what I have seen, you know, in a lot of people over the years and work of research and all that. So you are getting authentic information from me to me. Talk with Dr. Tolu. So, you know, this particular topic I picked based on what I've noticed recently, a lot of depression, people are committing suicide, people are not happy with their life, and it all starts from the way you see your life, the way you live your life. I remember in, in the Institute of Counseling this week, we were talking about, um, this past week was about behavioral approach to counseling, all right? 
and behavior um I mean, not bore you with all that, but the school of behaviorist, what they are saying is you are what you think. You know, your thought is what makes you whom you are. Your thoughts forms your thought forms your emotion, and your emotions becomes your behavior. And what forms your thought? Your thought as a result of event that has happened to you. And what happened to event? If the event makes you as a result of whether you know a particular habit in your life has been reinforced or not you know anyway let me not bore you with that like i said but the point is your thought determines how your life is going to look like it determines your behavior it determines whether you're going to that's why behavior uh, approach to counseling is very very useful when it comes to treating anxiety treating depression because it's all all in your head it's all about your thought you know, you change it, you change, change your thoughts, you change your life. All right. So tonight, I just want your life to be more beautiful. I want you to live your life to the fullest. Life is short, really. And like I said on Tuesday, you got to realize that none of us is going to be coming out of this place alive. And it is this is the right time to make the best of it. This is the right time to live your life to the fullest all right so if you have been passing through life or you have been existing and not living this is a wake-up call to you i've been doing a lot of thinking because of this topic and of course you know it might interest you to know let me say this i mean it's not something i should say on here but i don't i mean i mean that's me i don't i don't know how to swim okay and this is something i will learn a little bit and then i'll stop it i will learn and i'll stop it and you know Recently, you know, because of this uh, particular topic, I've been looking at my life, picked up my diary, and write certain things, things that I want to achieve before I die. You know, you know, in 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 um in counseling, you know, there is a field of counseling that is called grief and bereavement. You know, and of course, at the Institute of Counseling, and that's why we are still calling on people. You are listening to me, and all of you that have been sending me, Dr. Tolu, I want to be like you. I want to be a counselor. I want to be a sex therapist. Please join the Institute on Saturday. Be a part of it and help the society. The society needs you badly, badly. So I was talking about grief and bereavement, you know. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay. In grief and bereavement, um, I wanted to say something and okay so the point okay yeah in grief and bereavement you know grief and bereavement counseling I don't know in this part of the world I don't know of any grief counselor in Nigeria actually if you are around you might want to reach out to me because I have people asking me about grief counselors asking me for I mean writing to the institute and asking for grief counselors when people grieve in this part of the world we grieve wrongly you know, I actually have a diploma in grief and bereavement counseling. Even though I'm not a grief and bereavement counselor, it's not my field, but I, I had a diploma, you know. When people grieve in this part of the world, they grieve wrongly. Because when you grieve, okay, let me give you a scenario. This is not the typical, but let me give you a normal scenario. For example, in this part of the world, if somebody um, loses a child, you know, I mean, everybody wants to rally around the person and be saying, uh, you know, probably um, Yashegun, for example, or right? let me just put it like that. And I say, uh, Yashegun lost Shegun, and they're like, oh, sorry, oh, uh, Mama Shegun. In fact, when people are calling her Mama Shegun, you see people around saying, I stop calling her that name now. Or probably when uh, people are saying, oh, uh, you people want to talk about Shegun, people say, I stop reminding her. That's the way we grieve in this part of the world. But, the right way to grieve is to talk about the loss. The proper way to grieve is to keep discussing the object of loss with the griever. You know, so that shows you that when it comes to grieving in this part of the world, we don't do it properly. And that is why people live with a lot of unresolved emotions, unresolved grief, unresolved grief. And you now the point I'm trying to make is there are people who are waiting for death. I know in some places in I mean in develop where you know there are some hospitals that I mean I forgot the name now it skipped my mind. Where you keep people who have uh, probably incurable diseases, people who are you know in who are already I mean they've been told that they are gonna die. There are places where they are kept, you know, in developed world. But in this part of the world, even even when they are with their family, all we do is uh are she eating, are she, are she have you given her food? I mean that's what we care about. There's a way people die 
and they die happily. With the help of a grief and bereavement counselor, they would, you know, people who are waiting for death also have needs. They have aspirations, they have unresolved emotions, they have things that are, in fact, that are even killing them more than the sickness. How I wish in this part of the world we can look at that part of counseling and see how to make sure we talk to these people and make sure they die happily. And that brings me to the fact that when we live in this part of the world, people live in sadness without living their life to the fullest and when they even die, they die sadly. It's so bad that, I mean, you don't even live well and when you want to die, you still die sadly. Alright? So the point is, how do you live your life? I mean, if grief and bereavement, <laughs> let me not even go into that. How do you live your life? And you know that there are things that you have set for yourself. And of course, if that is all you could achieve on tonight's topic, please pick up your diary and write out things you would like to achieve before you clock 30, before you clock 40, because you, before you clock 50, 60, 70, and they're putting 80, 90 before you die. These are the things I want to achieve. And you start taking them, you start working towards them, you start living your life consciously. I mean, if you consider all the trouble, all the stress that are around you, you just you just realize that you were running after money, running after this, running after how to make sure the kids are doing well, your husband is fine, your wife is fine. That's all what your life is all about. And by the time you know it, you are gone. You are gone. You keep running after the money. I mean, there's, there, there, there is a, 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 a description I saw online. It says, you know, if I could remember, that people people struggle, you know, people struggle to get to the peak of the mountain, hoping that by the time they get to the peak of the mountain, they are going to enjoy their life. But all the enjoyment are actually on the way to the top of the mountain. All the enjoyment because you are struggling like okay when i get to the peak of the mountain i'm going to mountain i'm going to enjoy my life but all the enjoyment all the experience all the things that make life beautiful they are actually on your way to the peak of the mountain so what do you do while you are struggling to get to the peak of the mountain you understand how to also live life it has to be balanced work life balance it has to be balanced you must live your life to the fullest and that was what i started talking about on tuesday and i'm going to be concluding it tonight all right so i read a story and i'm going to read that story and i'm not going to bore you with all the things all the introduction i talked about last week i'm going to read that story and you're going to think about it then i'm going to give you the remaining 10 points then i will pick your calls and listen to your comments and probably answer your questions all right all right you need Okay, imagine the following scenario as written by Andrew Freebie. Andrew Freebie is an American. It is your typical Monday morning. You wake up at the same time you always do. You roll out of the bed, brush your feet, shower, and get ready to go off to work. You give your spouse a quick kiss goodbye, unlock your front door, and walk out into the fresh morning hair. You mean a few lines from Taylor Swift? I knew you were trouble. You unlock your car, plunk down into the driver's seat, and turn the key, starting your engine. After checking your mirrors and buckling your seatbelt, you pull out of your driveway and begin your daily commute while listening to the latest NPR. That's National Public Radio. So I'm going to call my own Nigeria Info, all right? Nigeria Info, while listening to, your, to the latest Nigeria Info radio, ranting about our current political climate that is a typical nigeria situation and of course that's what nigerian info is good at doing all right so everything is business as usual except that you spill your coffee all over your lap as you merge onto the interstate as the hot liquid burns the skin on your tie you instinctually i mean your instinct tells you it's more like a reflex action Instinctually look down at your lap and attempt to blot the coffee that is burning your skin. When you look up, you realize that as you spilled your coffee, you accidentally jerked the steering wheel to the left, and in less than a second, your car is sent off the side of the road and directly into the large oak tree you always pass on your way to the office. And just like that, your life is over. 
okay so you all might not be earth coffee like i said on tuesday there are a lot of in fact life expectancy in nigeria is actually very low there are a lot of things that are ready to take your life in nigeria so this might not be an hot coffee issue it could be a careless driver it could be a downfall driver who is who is going to run into you from the back it could be a careless trailer that is falling off the bridge it could be anything it could be a bad road it could be a trigger happy uh, um, security officer with accidental discharge a lot of things are just meant to take your life away from you in this country actually so think about this kind of scenario if you were to be you and your life is over just like that now stop imagining this very bad situation but if it happened to you tomorrow would you have been fulfilled would you say you have lived your life to the fullest think about it and i'll be right back the song because it's all about living your life in your own terms all right okay so i thought about i talked about a very sobering moment before i went on a short break and i just wanted to imagine if you have been living your life if if, if you have been living your life and if it's if i've just been about what will people think what will people say what will they say i'm doing will they look at me in a funny way if your life has always been about that i need you to consider that tonight and of course you know why dr Tony is a clinical relationship and marriage counselor and i mean she talks about sex she's a sex therapist why is she talking about living your life to the fullest because i understand though you can separate your life from the kind of relationship you also find yourself you the kind of emotions that are going on in your head or in your body or in your mind or in your life your emotions says a lot about your relationship about if you are going to even be able to have sex or not all right so the truth of the matter is if you have a happy life forget it you are going to attract happy people and your relationship is going to be great your marriage is going to be great i mean happy like they usually say happy wife happy life you know you can't give what you don't have if your life is all about sadness if it's all about you know you are unfulfilled you are depressed you are anxious there is no way your relationship can do well and that was why i picked this topic considering the level of people who are battling with depression with anxiety with pains with sadness oh a lot of overwhelming sadness people wake up and just pick up knife and want to to butcher their sp partner their spouses because they are they are living with a lot of bitterness and a lot of unresolved emotion now if you pick this topic and follow me it will help you you know to divert your attention away from all this and if you understand life you're able to master life to an extent there are certain things that people will do to you you just overlook it and move on with your life really nobody should be able to make you to feel bad about yourself at the end of the day this topic is all about being able to master life being able to master your emotion being able to live your life to the fullest to the extent that your life will radiate happiness and you just understand that it's all about living your life and not allowing anything to make you feel bad about yourself so i give you some points on how to live life to the fullest on tuesday i talk about allow the past to stay in the past learn to forgive and stop holding on to grudges go for a vacation stop working too hard get out of a toxic relationship do things that make you happy and learn to smile no, uh, visit a library that, my, that was my a library that was my number eight number nine accept invitations all right that was where i stopped and tonight i'll be starting with go on a date go on a date all right and like i said i want you to pick your phone or pick your pen and paper i write these points down so that you can look at them over and over because they become a part of you that is the right thing to do all right go on a date it could be with a friend with a colleague or an acquaintance or with your partner please go on a date treat yourself to a three course meal dinner treat yourself to a buffet go out on a date if you have the capacity you keep working all the money you keep saving it and you say no no ah uh, uh, all this posh restaurant will be asking for 40k what is 40k 
at the end of the day you save the 40k before you know something a bill will come from nowhere and take it away from you live your life to the fullest like i said on tuesday i'm not saying that this topic is to make you to live carelessly no it is to make you to live life make a while the sun shine because a time is coming it's gonna be too late for you go on a date even if it's a movie date go on a date if it's a musical date go on a date if it's a dance date go on a date if it's um dinner date lunch date go on a date even if it's your colleague in the office if it's with a friend if you can't uh if it's going to be trouble to go with the opposite sex, maybe you are the kind of person that your partner will not understand if you go out with an opposite sex. Go out with the same sex. But if you have a partner, we will not consider it a problem if you go out with your colleague in your office and you know you can handle opposite sex. Why not go out on a date? Even if it's an opposite sex, as long as you know you can handle it and your partner is okay with it. Of course, if you have a level of trust, and understanding in your relationship or in your marriage, I don't think that will be a problem. But come on, stop saying staying in dumb money tonight. When people are asking you, babe, Tolu, can I take you out for lunch? Tolu, if I personally, <laughs> I'm asking for lunch. Okay, I'm not asking. I'm, <laughs> I'm asking for lunch tonight. Take me on a lunch date. Doctor Tolu will be willing to go with you, but not for men. If you're a woman <laughs> and you're listening to me tonight, let's go on a lunch date. Excuse me, maybe I should do this sometime, you know. Okay, maybe I should go on a date. Okay, let's do dates. Okay, I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to take one. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to take one of my female fans on a date. Just one tonight. So you and I are going to have selfie. Um, I'm going to... Uh, should we go to the beach or should we go to... Have a lunch, and even if it's not so cozy, if it's not so expensive, if it's not so, we can do expensive restaurant. Let's see. Maybe we can even get sponsor on this show. Maybe somebody say, okay, Doctor Tolu, you are your fan, and I'm looking for somebody who can do that for me. You are your fan. We're going to send you on a date. I'm going to pay for the date. If you can't do that for me tonight, do something for Doctor Tolu at least, All right? Okay. So seriously speaking, I want to take one of my female fan on a date let's practice what we preach all right so tonight i'm talking about going on a date married couples those of you that have been married when was the last time you go on a date or you went on a date the two of you dress i say babe even if it's fish and drinks if it's barbecue fish and drink just do something just take yourself out this is the right time to do it, really. Go on a date. Stop working from Monday to Friday. Saturday you are at work. Sunday you are still working and there's no time to like go on a date. Even if it's you and your kids, if it's you and your children, take your kids and go on a date. All right? That's part of living life. And then my number, that was my number. Tell them about love and give love a chance. All right? Sincerely speaking, nothing make life as beautiful as being in love you love someone and the person loves you in return it's heavenly it's unexplainable it's magical and i want to encourage you to give love a chance it is part of living life to the fullest if you're able to fall in love and you find someone that loves you in return come on you the kind of excitement you get from that there is no there is no amount of food there is no amount of whatever that can give you be with that person that you love is so magical it's so unexplainable it's so deep come on give love a chance if you have been hurt before the person that have hurt you is trying to make your life to stop going it's trying to make you to stop living life and the best revenge to that person is to tell the person i've shaken off the dust and i'm living my life i want to encourage you to give love a chance try and fall in love and if somebody is in love with you tonight and you are listening to me please do not play with that person do not if you don't love the person please just walk away walk away if you feel you're going to hurt the person find a way to it's better you hurt the person than you know play with the person's heart if you don't love the person please let it go let the person go or let him or her go instead of 
toying with their heart. Another way to live life to the fullest is to give love a chance. Love makes your life so beautiful. It makes you glow. It makes you, I mean, it makes everything, you know, you, you, you're you going to be operating at the peak of your performances. People around you will keep asking you, what is going on? You are looking more beautiful. You are shining. Your skin is looking more beautiful. You are doing well in your office. People are asking, well, why was he doing? Was he doing differently? It is all the power of love. Give it a chance. It's going to make your life to be more exciting and more beautiful. Come on. If you are in love, if you are in marriage and probably it has, you know, probably it has, um, you know, it, it's it's just okay. It's just normal that after some time in marriage, you know, you could feel uh, you could feel exhausted. You know, you could feel yeah, you are losing the spark. This is a time to bring back the spark in your marriage. Find a way to bring back that thing. Those things that you used to do in those days, you know. Write these things down. Plan, you know. You know, sometimes when I talk on this show, it could be like just a remind I mean, like uh how do I put it, a wake up call for you to, to you know to do certain things that you have forgotten about doing. Give love a chance. It is beautiful, it is magical, it will make your life to be more interesting. I am still talking about living life to the fullest. Stop living on people's terms, stop saying what will people say, how will people look at me? What you stop you stop you start living the day you stop worrying your head about what people say funny you know you know as much as i am not encouraging you to live life carelessly but i just want you to fight for your happiness do things that make you happy because life is short you know for me <laughs> i wish you had known that you know dr to me used to be Okay, let me not go into that. But the point is, I used to be very rigid. I'm not this um, I'm very rigid. I'm very. It's, it's difficult to excite me, really. But you know, you have to make up your mind. You have to make conscious efforts to make your life interesting. Nobody's going to do it for you. If you look at me now, I might look like. In fact, I don't know. Maybe because of, by virtue of what I do, because counseling, there's a way counseling make you to be psych psych you know there's a way counseling does your psych you know for me in fact it, 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 it might be <laughs> you can call me a non-conformist i don't want to do things because everybody is doing it i want to be convinced i want to do something because i know this is why i'm doing it i want to do it because i feel this is the right thing to do I weigh my options, not because ah, if I do it now, this one will look at me in a bad way. If I do now, they tell you, as sister, to look at back I mean, I remember I said something on my show on Tuesday. And somebody said, oh, uh, 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 Dr. Tolu, are you sure you are you are a Christian or something? Something, something like that. I look at the person and I smile. I mean, that's the way we judge people in this part of the world. I mean, it, it is your choice. If you think Dr. Tolu is a Christian. As much as I don't live life to make other people to, you know, misbehave or make other people to go astray, come on. I do things that make me happy. All right? Find love. Find love. Fight for it. Search for it. You deserve to be loved. If you find love, your life is going to be interesting. All right? And then my number two of, if I am right, find a purpose and live for it. Find a purpose and live for it. This is very powerful. You see, it's just like what I do. When it comes to making people happy, when it comes to, I mean, if you have been following me on radio and TV, you could, you could feel my, in fact, you could touch my passion. I'm very passionate about what I do. I will do everything to keep doing this. The kind of joy, you, you don't have, a, you, you, you won't understand, actually. You won't understand. You see, when I go for weddings of people I matched in matchmaking, in my matchmaking service, and I go for their weddings, I can't explain it. Because the picture that comes to my head is the first time that person calls me or called me or the first time the lady walked into my office. And I picture the first time the man walked into my office. They don't know any each other. And then you start seeing the two families greeting as if they have known for years. And you're like, wow. I mean, most times I cry. I shed tears. I feel like, wow. There is nothing as fulfilling as that. Find a purpose. 
You see, finding purposes and living for it is beyond looking for money. You can keep looking for money. You can have all the money. You can make all the money without living your purpose. Come on, find your purpose and live it. You will enjoy your life. You know, the job that ordinarily you are doing that is looking stressful and looking, you know, that is taking, you do those things. I mean, my life is busy, really. My life is so busy now that I'm here. If I'm not here, I'm there. But it's all about seeing that these things I'm doing, I see people happy. I see people excited. I see people. I see people walking into my office. I mean, I remember if, I, if you have been following this show, I remember I said something on, on this show. My PA then, you know, whenever she's sitting, you know, my office then, you know, this it used to be like I mean, there's a lounge where people can sit with my PA's table, and then the long sofa where I'm mean, sure where uh, so far where people can sit and you know like a three-seater there now you see that this is a three-seater you know seat and you notice that when couples come into my office the husband is sitting at one edge and the wife is sitting at the other edge most of the time i don't see all this drama because i am in my office my pa sees a lot and you see them shouting on each other you see people cursing themselves you see people saying don't move close to me don't touch me don't do this and then when they go into my office, by the time they are coming back out, because if you come for counseling in my office, whether you're coming for sex therapy or you're coming for relationship or marriage counseling, whatever, or emotional stability, whatever it is, as a couple especially, couples, whenever you are leaving my office, you have to do it in routine. You have to kiss before you leave, you know. And because I noticed that in this part of the world, most couples don't kiss, actually. All right. So... My PA, there was a day she entered my office and said, Ma, you see, I've been wanting to tell you this. But today soon, this couple that just left, when they came, Ma, they were always beating them. They were almost beating themselves. And I even wanted to knock the door to tell you that you should come out and attend to them because of the way they were doing. And when they entered the office, by the time they were coming out, the way they were now holding hands, the way they were smiling, the way they, she said, Ma, what magic is happening in this office? That was the way she put it. I'm not exaggerating exactly. I mean, this was actually my PA in Port Harcourt. I mean, I, then I wasn't even, I wasn't even this good, if I have to put it, you know. But it's all about living my purpose. When I see stuff like this, when I see marriages at the verge of breaking down, marriages that I know that if this marriage breaks down, it's not just going to be about them. It's going to affect the children that are coming, that are in that marriage. It might not even be about the children. It might affect the, the person that the child or the child is going to get married to. It could become a cycle that could affect 10 generations to come. And I'm able to probably help them to solve that. And they are smiling and they are making up their mind. That, oh, this is going to work. We think we can work on it. There's nothing as fulfilling as that. And if you are listening to me, there is something. There is something that you do effortlessly. There is something that you do that just falls in place for you. There's something you do that you don't feel like you are being stressed. There's something you do. You don't struggle for it. Find it. Find it. There is something in you. If you do that thing, you will be living life. You will be. You, you don't want to know how many businesses Dr. Tolu have done. So people call me Madam Kento. I used to have a very big place in Port Harcourt then. Kento's place. Very big. There is a spa. There is a salon. There is, I mean, everything was there. Name it. I've been in a bank before. I've, I mean, I've worked briefly in a bank. I've, uh, I've run a boutique before. I've... In fact, th th there are some people that calls me in Potaco. That I have a shop to come up. You know, I travel and then bring everything bringable, used electronics, used cars. You know, I do all that. So people still call me today. So people calls me Madam Tokumbo because I used to have a shop, very big shop then, Potaco Tokumbo. I was doing all those things. Money was coming, but fulfillment wasn't there. If you want to live your life to the fullest, I can't overemphasize this point find something that you love live your life for it you know something that at the end of the day money is going to come money is going to come from it and your fulfillment is going to come find that thing and live for it find a purpose pursue it with all your strength it wasn't easy when i started intimate talk with dr tulu people come into my office 
That's why these days when people come in, I tell them you have to pay at the lie. When people when I started, <laughs> the money they were paying me were actually peanuts. But that peanut they can't even pay. Some of them will come, I will feed them, I will pay their transport because they are sitting down in my office. My I used to my office used to be inside an hotel then. And then they'll be creating by the time they come out of the office, they will see that they'll be creating a scene. I can't I me, mean, I could remember one woman. I can't go back to that house. So if you ask me to go, doctor told me that I was anti Tony, then I wasn't a doctor, they call me anti Tony then. Auntie Tony, if you ask me to go, ask me to go to that play house, I will poison myself, I will die. And then I've seen people, I've seen a, 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 a woman that came into my office, I was like, if I go back to that house, I'm gonna stab my husband, I'm gonna kill my husband. And then I see all these things, I want to see that they are, I, I want to make sure they are fine seriously i've come a long way and i do all this i'm not even started really i'm just i'm just starting and i do all this i do it with you know with ease because it's my purpose find it find it there is something in you that your world is waiting for there is something in you that everybody around you is looking for if you look at that thing you won't, you won't imagine how beautiful your life is going to look you you you, find you solve a large percentage of the unfulfilling depressed and anxious emotions that you are currently experiencing now you will solve a large percentage of it if you find your purpose and live for it number 13 learn new things learn new things you know i mean you've been doing certain things over and over you get bored you get tired learn new things learn how to do sasa i'm registering for all that I, like i said this particular topic is actually helping me i'm registering for sasa i'm registering for swimming i want to learn how to dance sasa i want to learn how to swim i want to learn it just learn new things learn how to do makeup learn things that actually interest you dance how to sing go to the studio and record a voice a song even if you are not going to sell it you know go to dance you know studio and learn how to dance learn how to swim learn how to play basketball learn how to play little table tennis just learn a new thing it will make your life interesting all right number 15 pamper yourself in fact, if I see someone on this show that tell my doctor to look, I will give you a massage. If you are a, if you have a massage parlor, you are listening to this show. I'm ready. Please, I want a massage. I do that most of the time. I do it with my help at home. You know, my help. I used to tell uh, my darling, come and massage. You know, my help does that for me. But I, I just beyond that, I want to like pamper myself. Go to a spa and just stay there and just you know. I need it and, and you need it pamper yourself give yourself a treat you know go for facials go for manicure and pedicure i mean go for uh, 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 a massage you know go for uh, a sauna you know bath you know just just do things you, you, I, you, most of you will be thinking oh, Dr. Tony, is it not many that you are going to use to do all these things at your level if your level is going to the spa do it if your level is calling your sister to massage for you just do it make sure you just give yourself a treat right i really want to run this up so i could take your calls because i couldn't take much call on tuesday all right then there's still many all right even if it's only you when i'm talking about pampering yourself even if it's only you go to a restaurant and sit and eat like a king <laughs> you know You've been working and working and working and all you eat is the remnants. Just go. Only you sit down there and say, give me, give me, <laughs> oh, what do you, shawarma? No. Remember, a three-course meal. You know, there are some cozy restaurants on the island that I love, you know. But if you don't have that capacity, if it's ukwobi and whatever, pepper soup, just go and give yourself a treat. All right? And then my number what now number 14 i'm going to rush through this now stay in touch with people that lost you there are some people actually you know as you climb the ladder of success or you know not even necessarily as you advance in life there are some people that will not always be in your life but in your heart of heart you know people that care about you stay in touch with them Stay in touch with them. They are going to make your life interesting. Once in a while, in fact, tonight is a good time to pick your call or probably note it down tomorrow. 
call your long lost secondary school friend your university friends that you are parted with just stay in touch with people that care about you your family and friends call your mom call your dad some of us will struggle to call our parents call your sisters and brothers is something i'm very 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 bad at doing my husband is my opposite when it comes to calling because i used to tell him why are you looking for people to call because he will pick his phone and be strolling oh i've not called this he called i've not called this I, even when you are calling me i don't want to pick because i do i just feel like i don't want to be disturbed you know but i'm really i'm learning now i'm learning that sometimes now recently you know with all this i pick up my call and i call my friends and they're like how are you doing are you fine are you good and then we laugh with we you know before you know you start talking about certain things that happen the secondary school certain things that happen in your university you see that you are rolling on the floor those are the you know laughter is very good for the soul it's part of the point i talked about that you should smile and laugh a lot so keep in touch in touch with people that loves you people that care about you and then number 16 right make love like it's all that matters make love like it's all that matters sex is beautiful you know dr tolu talk about sex and love i can't overemphasize that make love like it's all the matter go for destination love making make love in your car make love in the elevator <laughs> crazy one okay if you have an elevator, if you are an elevator that is not so busy, make love there. When somebody is trying to come in, you notice that you are getting to, get to a floor, somebody is trying to open, close the door again and just have a quickie. Make love inside your car. Make love in you. Just, just have sex. Sex is beautiful. It's interesting. It's exciting. And what you do with the right person is fulfilling. It's, 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 you feel loved, you feel, I, I'm looking for the right word to explain this. Part of living life to the fullest is to make love like it's all that matter. Make love and, and forget your worries. Forget about everything. Put your body, your mind, your soul, everything in it. Your spirit, if possible, because sex is actually spiritual. Put everything in it and make love like nothing is existing. Get down and dirty. It's part of living life to the fullest. Make love. Get lost in love making. Alright? Then my number 17. I think I'll give you number 16, right? Number 17. Exercise and eat right. Okay, I'm going to run through this now because of my time so that I can pick your call. Exercise and eat right. Then, number 18, I mean, I kind of emphasize exercising and eating right. You know it's very, very important, okay? All these things contribute to your happiness and contributing to making sure your life is balanced, all right? Go on the sightseeing. Go on the sightseeing. Even if it's to walk, you know, like um, there is a, a conservation yeah, park at Lekki there. Enter that place, just go and look, look at the trees, look at the bushes. If you have a catapult, go to the village, if you have an opportunity, kill the birds. If you have a friend that is a hunter, go out and go hunting with the person. If you are, I have opportunity to go to the beach, just walk around in the beach, walk in the sand, soak yourself in the sand, and just go out for sightseeing. Have uh, I mean today? I mean recently I've been doing that a lot. I mean because of this topic. Yesterday I wanted to you know um, go to a bank that's about like like one kilo. Is it up to a kilometer? Maybe about a kilometer or about eight hundred meters to my office. So my driver is in the office. So and if he sees me going at the last one, ma, where are you going? So I just sneaked out of my office. And I stopped the keke in front of my office and I entered keke. I cannot remember the last time I did. I entered keke to the bank. I felt so, you know, inside that keke, I was looking. If I had my streets, I don't even know it. I've been in that street for how many years now? I really don't know what is going on there because most of the time I just sit at the back of my car and I'm probably reading or sleeping or doing something. I don't even look up. So I entered keke to the bank. When I came out of the bank, I crossed to the other side. <laughs> and I, it looks it looks funny, really. Because I actually, sincerely speaking, I, think, I felt I looked strange. Because I felt everybody was looking at me. Because 
I was actually wearing a very short gown and I was standing there and I, I know people were really looking at me and I felt a bit uncomfortable but I was just smiling. I was just enjoying the ride and I was trying to stop different keke. That place I now stay for, I have to stay for like 10 minutes while going back before I could see another keke. And today again, I went to, to my new technician and my driver dropped me there and he was like, Ma, should I wait or should I come back? And I told her, don't worry, just go when I'm ready, I'll call you. And when I finished, I told her, my technician, ah, can I get a care in front of this place? And he was like, yeah. So I <laughs> walked outside and she was like, okay, let me come and still stand with you. I said, don't bother. She said, let me stand with you. And she stayed with me. And I got a buy, and, uh, and the, the, I wanted to even enter a buy, but because my dress was short, you know, so I decided to like, okay, let me look for KK. So I got a KK. There were one other person, there was one other person inside the KK. And the KK dropped me. The KK said, if you have to take me that uh, to where I'm going, I have to pay like 200 naira. But if you have to drop me at the bus stop, it's 50 naira. And the woman, like, ah, from that, uh, I see I pay only the 50 naira, 200 for what? Okay, I said, okay, fine. I said, I don't have more than 50 naira, you know. Sometimes I do this. Like the one I entered yesterday, I gave the KK 500 naira. And you were like, and you were like ah, what? You know, I just did that. And it's not like I have all the money. All right. But this one, I said, okay, I'll pay my 15 naira. So it, it dropped me at the bus stop. And I tracked from the bus stop to my office. It felt so beautiful, really. And sightseeing is something you should do. Most of the time, you see, there's one, uh, something your dad used to say. Um, um, skip my mind now. You know, you, you become so big, you make all the money, and you don't even enjoy the beautiful taste of life again. The fresh air, you can't even walk in the streets because of all the money. I think sightseeing is very good for you. So, you might take your time to probably stroll and just walk a bit, just look around. Instead of sitting down in the car all the time, all right? Go for a side saying, focus on the positive. Focus on this positive. In the beginning, I said, it's all in your head. It's all about your thought. Forget about the negative and focus on the positive. You know, there are a lot of things that are just need for your attention. And the fact that if you have it at the back of your mind, there are everything will, can never be all right at the same time. I mean, life comes with the good and the bad so if you have that you focus if you are that at the back of your mind you focus on the positive and you stop worrying your head about the negative as much as possible it might be difficult but you need to train yourself to do this and then my number 19 if i am right okay focus on the positive and that number 20 worry less about what people say if in fact but the day you stop worrying about uh, look at her i mean i i know that i mean it is possible that that place that I'm standing yesterday, some people are looking at me, I feel like a, a gown is so short. Oh, a gown is so, you know? And then you say, I, I don't want people to say my gown is short, I cannot stand on the road. I don't want people to say uh, uh, she's too this. I don't want people to look at me like, and when you keep living your life like that, you can't live. You will, you will keep existing. You will pass, you pass through. Live your life and do things that make you happy. People will always talk. You do good, they will talk. You do bad, they will so what are we talking about? People are entitled to, to their opinion. Let them say whatever they want to say. And then my final point is talk to a counselor. Talk to a counselor. Talking to a counselor, you see, it doesn't mean that you have problem. It just means that it just means that you do, don't want anything to worry. You don't want things to bother you. You want to live your life to the fullest. Sometimes, I mean, I, I told you on this show that I have a client. All she does is walk into my office and lie down on my couch and say, Dr. Tolu, don't worry. That's how she talks. She said, Dr. Tolu, don't worry. You just don't see anything. Just listen to me. And then she talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk everything that is bothering her. The things that happen in her office. Mm, something happened today. Do you know? Do you know that there's this guy in my office? You know? And then she pour out her heart. Some days she will come and she want me to talk. But some days she just talk. And then she will just walk away. <laughs> okay? So, sometimes... If you feel your life is looking sober and you are anxious, you are depressed, you are you are think you are suicidal, you are thinking about doing the wrong thing, please talk to a professional. 
talk to a professional, talk to a counselor, look for a sex therapist if your issue is about sex. It is about emotion, their emotion uh, specialist or uh, emotion coach. If, they, if it's about grief, talk to a grief counselor. Career issue, talk to a career counselor. There are about 200 fields of counseling, even though we are not exploring them in this part of the world. But I know that people are coming up gradually who can help you to attend to your relationship issue, marriage issue, grief, depression, anxiety, you know, um, we should have one career, teenage, child, whatever. Please, anything that is bothering you, that is giving you sleepless night, that is bothering your mind and your life is not happy, please go out and talk to a counselor, talk to a therapist about it. Most of the time, I say this a lot of time on this show, <laughs> that at the end of the day, therapist, therapy is actually cheaper because sometimes when they are telling you to pay now you are feeling like ah, i never shop i go to pay money for therapy come on live your life to the fullest because before you know it most of the sicknesses that people are battling with today are as a result of emotional issues that they left unresolved go out and talk to a professional and pour out your mind and remove all those burdens that are bothering you all right i just hope I just hope I've been able to do. I mean, this is actually does this doesn't actually seem to me like a popular topic. Actually, I mean, there are a lot of topics that I want to talk about. I want to talk about sex toys. I want to talk about erection. I want to talk about so many things. But I just felt like, considering the level of uh, anxiety, depression, and overwhelming sadness that people are going through these days, committing suicide. I mean, being in a bad relationship and bad marriage. I just hope that this topic tonight will be able to help you to sit back and look at your life and reanalyze your life, re-strategize, rethink about your life. It is never too late to start living. Even if you are 70, you are listening to me, it's never too late. And if you are 20, you are, you are lucky. Set goals for yourself. Set plans. Work towards them. Fight for your happiness. Do things that makes you happy. And I will be opening my phone line. Man, how time flies. I will be opening my phone line. I will play the broadcast for just a few minutes or a few seconds. And then I will be opening my phone line. If you have questions, whatever it is that is bothering you about your relationship, your sex life, and your marriage, ask me. And if you want to make contribution to tonight's topic, also um, make your contributions, make your point as fast as possible. You can do like 30 seconds. It's going to be fine by me. So we don't, I mean, last Tuesday, I couldn't pick more than two or three calls, but I want to see if I can do better tonight. All right? Hello? Good evening. Good evening. You want to speak up, Esther? Yes. Okay. Okay, maybe I would say. Where, where do you stay? Ojo. Ojo. Yeah. That's, that's far, right? Uh, that's okay, so probably I will take you out on a date. So go to my Facebook page. Hmm? What's your name again? Esther. So go to my Facebook page and um, send me a message that your name is Esther. You called. So you want to talk to me and because of this topic, I'm going to be giving you, normally you don't see me without paying, but I am going to see Esther and I'm going to be taking you out on a date. I'm still looking for somebody to sponsor our date, okay? Maybe somebody is going to sponsor the date on this show. But Esther, so I'll take you on a date so we could talk when we go, so go to Intimate Hour to me on Facebook and send me a message, all right? Um, uh, right now, I'm on Facebook. I'm doing my first and calling. Ah, uh, so how do we do, do it? Are you, are you on Instagram as well? I am on Instagram, but for now, my phone is faulty. Okay, so this is what I will do, Esther. Um, okay, so you want to see me. I'm going to drop my number at the end of the show keep listening so call that number if i don't call don't just send a message that dr tonu said i should talk to her my name is esther i will take it up okay okay so you are not going on a date with me esther has missed my date all right so i'm still looking for a lady that's going to go in the day with me and i'm still looking for somebody to sponsor our dates <laughs> hello hello good 
good evening. Good morning, actually. Morning, morning, good morning. All right. Yes. Yeah. Um, I wanted to contribute. Okay. To this program. Okay. Actually, let me just say that. And to you. Yes, sir. Dr. Tulu, <laughs> you have many, many family with this, your program. Oh. If somebody calls me and tell me, hmm. and uh, you are doing a great job. Thank you. I should keep it on. Thank you. Uh, and you are very beautiful. Oh, I'm blushing. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. I like you. Keep Thank it you. on. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Amen. All right. Right. Thank you for calling. All right. So a lady is going to go out on a date with me. And all those people, all these people that are psyching Dr. to lose sponsor our dates. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I can't hear you. You're so faint. Oh, and you sound like a lady. Hello. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Dr. Tulu. Good morning. My name is Gift. I'm oh. calling you from Port Harcourt. Gift from Port Harcourt. Eh, yeah, my people, my people. I'm coming to Port Harcourt on Saturday. Okay. Mm. I'm having a program. I'm going to post it tomorrow, actually, on my social media. So, if you are listening or you are watching from Port Harcourt, actually, at the Tulu is coming to Port Harcourt. I've been trying, I've been getting invitations, I've not been able to meet up, but this time around I'm going. All right? You want to say something, Git? Yeah, no, please. Eh? I'm, I'm having a big challenge. Okay. Let me, cut it, let me make it brief. Okay. I've been, I've been in a relationship for, for some years. So, when we were during that period, my fiance didn't have. Uh, something doing. Okay. So I've been the one, then I was working, so we were sustaining through that. So 2016, I resigned from my work, then he got a job. Mm. So I, I went into business. So we, plan, we planned that that year, then we all got that year, we, we planned over, again, doing the, the right food thing. So, Unfortunately, um, that same year I took him, so. mm -hmm. but I don't know, since that, since then, this man I thought I knew turned into something else. Mm -hmm. He doesn't test me, he doesn't, during my pregnancy, so he was like, you were not the, you were not the same gift that he no. was petting and... Okay, so anyway, let's, 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 let me, let, can you round up because of time now? Okay, okay. After, after I put to bed, you know, things started changing from, from that to work. So right now, now, even, even for me to even, as a baby him, like man and, and woman, I, I don't have that all again because of all this, this thing. I'm just confused because, I, it was a, it was a point that I said, once my baby is, is a year. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to leave you. Okay, I've dropped your call, gift. I just hope you are watching. I'm going to tell you. Now, you see the problem you are having. Because of time, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to go, I don't want to talk too much, but I'm just going to go straight telling you. Your problem is that he has stopped. You see, he, he was, he was, he was dating a working class lady that is same values. Now, it's no same value. You are now a full housewife, pregnant, um, just put into bed that is always there. That is the lady is seeing now. He's no longer seeing that working class, classy lady he met before. Now, the only solution to this, you see, I tell ladies a lot of time, men that are telling you don't work, don't work, they are not, men are not wired. Men are not wired to, to keep being with a woman to keep drooling drooling over a woman that is not adding value to herself even if it's not adding to the marriage that is not adding value to herself gift the only solution to your problem let me tell you just stop yourself and start doing something become the classes even if it's 
a job of 5,000 naira. Wake up, dress up, even if you have to go, even if you have to go and be working as, as a, a mind down in the school where you can go with your child. Wake up, dress up, look good, work on your look, work on yourself, start carrying, your, start carrying yourself in a better way. Get a job and for now forget about getting pregnant and add value to yourself. Come back and tell me if this your husband is still going to be the same person you are talking about. Hello. Oh, hello, good evening. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Dr. Tony. Yeah. Uh, my name is uh, Gazar. Okay. I'm calling you from my cellar. Okay. Uh, I have two things, please, madam. Okay. Uh, the more I want to appreciate you. Oh, thank you. What you are doing. Thank you. And I want to say, God will bless you. Amen. God will strengthen you. Amen. We'll give you the fortitude Amen. in order to continue this. Amen. And uh, number two, I want to see if I can get a little help. Okay. From anybody out there. Okay. My dad fell down from my staircase. Okay. Two days ago. Okay. And this thing of a uh, second JS2. Okay. That's the SS2 class 5. Okay. And we, you know, when we leave, he says, first me, I first you. Okay. I don't expect that uh, when I things happen like that. Okay, okay. You, you know what? You know what? I've seen what you're talking about because of time. You know what? Go to my Facebook page. Hmm? Send me in the no, question. Mama, mama, hold on, please, Mama. Uh, the phone you do is not up to Facebook and all that. There's, the audio, okay, I will drop my number because what I want to do is whatever request you want from people, I want to read this out to people and probably read out your number on how they can reach you so that they want to help you. They can't do that. Now I just have less than one minute on this show and uh, you might not be able to do all that. So put it together and send it to me, whether as a, as a text or as a... Can I drop a number for you? Maybe you call me later, please. I'm going to drop my number at the end of the show, all right? Okay. okay, yeah. So, but the best thing you could do is um, call, I mean, send whatever you want. Calling me will not solve this problem. Send whatever you want. When else I'm coming on this show, I'm going to read it for people to um, make comments. So, I mean, I can't take call again. I don't know I'm doing this. I'm trying. But it's just, it's just working. My time is gone, guys. Sorry, okay? I'm going to be giving you my food for thought for tonight. All right, my food for thought for tonight. The saddest summary of a life contains three descriptions. Could have, might have, and should have. Could have might have and should have those are the saddest summary of your life i don't want that to be the summary of your life thank you for joining dr tulu tonight i'm going to see you same station same time tuesday next week oh, make sure you have a beautiful weekend and i'm leaving you in the hand of deborah curse sleep tight guys love you to enjoy more of this our will get videos when you just watch Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.